The ceramic model of the universe is based on the book of Genesis, from which Judaism, Islam, and Christianity derive their basic picture of the world. And the image of the world in the book of Genesis is that the world is an artifact. It is made. As a potter takes clay and forms pots out of it, or as a carpenter takes wood and makes tables and chairs out of it. Don't forget, Jesus is the son of a carpenter, and also the son of God. So the image of God and of the world is based on the idea of God as a technician, potter, carpenter, architect, who has in mind a plan and who fashions the universe in accordance with that plan. So basic to this image of the world is the notion, you see, that the world consists of stuff, basically. Primordial matter, substance, stuff, as pots are made of clay. And the potter imposes his will on it and makes it become whatever he wants. And so in the book of Genesis, the Lord God creates Adam out of the dust of the earth. In other words, he makes a clay figurine, and then he breathes into it, and it becomes alive, because the clay becomes informed. By itself, it is formless. It has no intelligence, and therefore it requires an external intelligence and an external energy to bring it to life and to put some sense into it. And so in this way, we inherit a conception of ourselves as being artifacts, as being made. And it is perfectly natural in our culture for a child to ask its mother, how was I made? 